talk about multi-dimensional arrays. Multi-dimensional. So these are just like a regular array, but have more than one dimension, dimension like say two. And this is how you would do a two-dimensional array. Yeah, let's say we want to make it uh, five by five. Like that. So that's a two-dimensional array. It's five by five, and you can access the cells uh, at indices zero through four in this way. Right? So you can put integers in any of the cells. You know, this number right here, it has to be a number between 0 and 5, and sorry, 0 and 4, and so does this one. And of course, we don't need to make it a uh, 5 by 5, we can make it 5 by 10, or whatever numbers we want. So that's a two-dimensional array, that's how you put numbers in, you get numbers out in pretty much the same way, right? So a four, a two, if we run that, that will print out 99. There you go. Doesn't have to be just two dimensions, it could be three dimensions, and four dimensions, and five dimensions, and so on, until you run out of memory, which actually will happen uh, pretty quickly. So, no, it's not gonna work, because that's a three. And uh, let me just show you how that doesn't work. So this, you know, Eclipse doesn't tell me anything, but when I try to run that, then I'm gonna get the array index out of bounds exception. There's a three, you see it was defined as having three elements. That means zero through two, and I put a three here, so that's too big. The biggest it can be is two, and then, you know, that works. Uh, now you see it didn't complain about this one. All right, so here, uh, I have A42 and I was able to print that out and that is because A42 is actually an array. It's an array in this case of three elements. Which brings me to our other little topic here which is um, ragged arrays. And I'm going to find one now. So you, these are arrays where you're defining one dimension, let's say five, uh, but I'm going to make it a two dimensional array, right? So, ragged, oops, forgot the new. Ragged is a, um, oh, I gotta put this, that there. Uh, so, ragged is a two dimensional array, and I have defined the first dimension, so it means it has to, it will have five rows, but each one of the rows. Each one of those rows is how many columns? I don't know, I haven't said that out. Um, so if I try to use that ragged array, it will be a problem uh, for the unit zero. It is uh, 77. So if I try to run that, I'm gonna get the Java null pointer exception. So what happens is, uh, I haven't said, so ragged four, is null right now, and uh, you know, I can verify that by just printing it. Try to print that out, and uh, there it is. You see, it tells me that it is null. Um, so, uh, if I wanted to use this, I can use this, and it's commonly done, I would just have to say, you know, ragged zero is a new integer array of, I don't know, four. And uh, similarly, you know, ragged one could be nine, and ragged two could be 10, and whatever I want. So you see why it's called ragged, because uh, it has five rows, zero through four, but each one of those rows, row zero has four elements, zero through three. Row one has nine elements, and row two has 10 elements, and row three has not been defined yet, so I'm going around to it. Uh, but I can easily do that. So those are useful sometimes. Um, you know, when you, some rows are gonna be a lot smaller than others. 
and you don't know that until runtime. Uh, so there you go. Those are two-dimensional arrays. Uh, you can uh, basically, you, this is the type, and this is how you declare a new one. If you know beforehand, if you don't know beforehand, you can do this kind of stuff where you define, you know, the ones you know, and then at runtime, the ones you don't.